Hey folks and welcome back to Shaggy's Car Shop. Well on tonight's episode I hope you all brought your shoehorns because we're throwing a uh, big block Cadillac engine into a Firebird. Well, hopefully. Hopefully it fits again. It should because I've had it in here before but you know, hopefully. So without any further ado, let's get after the video. folks we left off in the last video by pulling apart all of the front end of the car so I got a clean shot to slide that engine in there so I guess uh, let me get you a good camera angle or attempt to and uh, see what we can do all right All right, sorry about that, folks. I had to adjust a little bit. Uh, so my engine hoist down here, the leg was hitting the uh, control arm on the driver's side. So, yeah, I had to jack the car up just a touch. Got the bell housing past the motor mounts. So now 
Let's slide her down just a touch. Do a little something back here. Go down a little bit. Something else I noticed, might want to get out of the way, the old uh, motor mount bolts.
because I left them in there so I knew where they were. Getting closer, folks. Check this transmission down here. Oh. All right, everyone, we're <clears throat> really, really close now.
Onto these motor mount bolts, and uh, well, my battery is dying. So let me get these four in, and then I'll bring you back for a closer look. All right, folks, there you have it one big block Cadillac and a first generation F body. It was so much easier the first time I put it in and pulled it out, but this time. It fought me. Um, I got all four of my motor mount bolts in. I got a jack stand underneath the transmission. I gotta get the chain and everything off. Um, don't think I tore things up too ungodly bad, but time will tell when I pull the blanket and everything out of there. Um, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, that was a little bit of a struggle, but it's in there. Um, yeah. So I don't know how this video will come out. It's a lot of me going back and forth trying to shimmy it in. I ended up having to drop my uh, rack and pinion steering system, back the bolts out enough to drop that down, and now I gotta get that back in there. I mean, there's plenty of space. It's just a matter of, I didn't wanna have to do that, but, it is what it is. So, um, yeah. But, let's see. Next, probably be the transmission mount so that it doesn't have to have a jack stand. And I'll get that stuff back in. Put the front back on. Drop it back on its wheels. Get the hood and make sure all my measuring fit. Ooh, I might, uh, I might throw that serpentine belt system on that I built just for, you know, why not, and make sure everything jives with it. It should, I don't know about that control arm, but now's the time, I guess, to move stuff around. So if I need to move stuff, I need to move stuff. But that's it for tonight. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm gonna go take a shower and go to bed because it's like, oh, midnight, and I've been fighting with this for four hours. Whew. But thank you all. Have a good night. Catch you on the next one. Thank you.